This video is brought to you by Lightspeed, we're a Zulu, and by WX Weather. The Rocket Racing League took flight July 29, 2008 at Oshkosh. Just prior to the flight, Kit Plains editor Mark Cook got some details from a program insider. Uh, this is Mark Cook reporting from AirVenture 2008 for AvWeb and Kit Planes. We are here with uh, Scott Baker, Velocity Aircraft. Uh, Velocity Aircraft, of course, is an integral partner with uh, the Rocket Racing League. Uh, later on this afternoon, we're going to see a, a demonstration flight of uh, the first of the aircraft that will be part of this sort of one-make racing series, this really competitive, exciting racing series. Uh, we're going to talk to Scott a little bit about today is the, the airframe transformations. Of course, the, the airplane is based on a Velocity. You guys will be producing these airframes. Tell me a little bit about the airframe and, uh, and, and your process in developing it for this uh, race series. Great. Thanks, Mark, and I appreciate you being here. Uh, Rocket Racing Composites Corporation acquired Velocity in, in April, as you know, and so we are a member of the Rocket Racing team, so to speak, and, uh, and we're very happy that, uh, that, that uh, Rocket Racing Composites Corporation has selected uh, the Velocity airframe as uh, they are not only their test aircraft, but their prototype aircraft for the Rocket Racing series. Uh, they've uh, uh, developed uh, two uh, different prototypes, one based on the Velocity SE, which is the aircraft they were next to, and then a larger version called the Velocity XL that accommodates a slightly larger engine that's uh, being produced by Ar uh, Armadillo. Uh, so. Uh, uh, the Rocket Racing uh, went looking for uh, the type of airframe that they wanted uh, that, and, and that would provide the strength characteristics, the pusher characteristics, and, and also uh, uh, for a company that would uh, be able to work with them on a prototype basis, and so that's how we, we came to, to know one another. Well, and you can't deny the fact that the Velocity is a real futuristic, sexy-looking airplane. I mean, if you're if you're going to sell a racing series, you can't exactly do it with Edsel's, right? That's true. And and Rocket Racing uh, makes uh, uh, no pretense about it. Uh, they are both a technology and uh, an entertainment company, and uh, the, the, and the Velocity airframe really uh, blends into that quite nicely. So the process, once this gets going, and I understand that there are going to be uh, uh, more demonstrations at uh, Reno this year, and then, of course, for next year, the, the, the thing really kicks off is the expectation now. Tell me how, as a manufacturer of kit aircraft, that uh, that impacts you in terms of building airframes and things like that. What's the logistics for you? Well, it's, uh, we're, we're, it's good in the sense that uh, we are uh, looking at new new technology uh, uh, and uh, bringing uh, stronger materials, safer materials uh, to the rocket racing uh, program. Uh, uh, using that uh, in conjunction with the rocket racing team uh, teams, uh, the, testing this technology and then bringing that back into general aviation. So velocity. Uh, kit built customers in the future are going to benefit from airframes that are going to be stronger, faster, safer. Now that's terrific. Now, this this rocket engine is going to have a fair amount of thrust. What are, what are we looking at for performance here? It's incredible. I talked to Len Cook, uh, Len Fox, uh, uh, yesterday, and he was telling me about his uh, taxi experiences with the Armadillo powered unit. It says uh, zero to sixty in less than three seconds. He, he is a uh, former uh, uh, naval aviator. He says it has more takeoff kick in the pants uh, than an F-18. Well, we're excited to see the uh, the Velocity airframe going here and, uh, of course, the infusion of, of, of resources and technology to, to benefit the kids' side, so it's obviously a win-win situation. Exactly right. 